Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Siege Survival Glory of Victus. I am the White Seer and you may have seen some of my other series uh, on YouTube before. Um, if not, welcome. Um, I logged into Steam this morning and saw that they'd added a, another additional official scenario called the Lost Caravan. And we are going to give that a go today. So let's click on this. Looks like we have one person who I've not seen before um, on their story mode, and these these modes aren't quite ready yet, obviously. And we are going to uh, just jump in. That's cool, new uh, new artwork. So the year is twelve zero seven, half of a decade into the devastating war between the Sangma Empire and rebellion of Midlander lords. Our caravan, led by Viator, was on the route at the Sun Scorch frontier, travelling to the farthest Imperial provinces with various goods. We marched right into a trap. Uh -huh. Scouts of the Midlanders army tracked our steps, led by greed and hatred that arose in their hearts. They attacked at night, few of us made it out alive. So the Midlanders are now the bad guys. <clears throat> so I guess we are part of the uh, army of Sangma. We found shelter in a nearby caravanserai before Midlanders surrounded the place and started the siege. It's too hot for them to attack at day, so they wait for the chill of night. Uh, okay, so there's there's heat mechanics in this, so I guess we're going to be doing most of our scavenging during the day. We discovered the water in the well is poisoned. Some of our men learnt it the hard way. May the wrath of the gods guide their souls. There's still a chance to save some of the poisoned, but we need to find medicine first and find a way to escape this place. We have to survive. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's uh, slow this down quickly. So we can have a little look at what's going on. Here's our guy here. Viator, the entrepreneur. He is good at trading and crafting. Needs a lot more rest and has a rubbish backpack capacity. Okay, that's going to make this a tricky start, I guess. Um, some water is ready to be collected. From where? Not from here. That's poison, surely. Oh, we've got another thing over here as well. Dirty water, okay. So we can boil that up, and that'll make it okay. Let's go running over here and find out what this is all about. You see, Demetrius, the famous cartographer whose travels to the borders of the known world became legendary. But now, gravely sick from poison water, he doesn't look like a hero of the Empire. This man desperately needs medicine. Maybe you can sneak out at dawn and search the remains of the caravan. Okay. Caravan and nearby oasis are surrounded by deadly mountains and even more unforgiving desert. Maybe you could escape by the sea, but you'd need the cartographer's knowledge and a solid ship. Let's see what you can find in the port. Okay, let's slow this down again. So we need to go out and find medicine for this guy this time, rather than um, arrows. I'm wondering whether there are... So this is the boat. What's this here? Fishery. Okay, so maybe we we get food from the fishery here. And I'm thinking, or wondering, maybe it's... Um, rather than... Well, we do have a bastion. Two sick guys in there. Next battle in one day, so we're not going to be able to heal those guys up before... Oh, we can get milk. Not gonna be able to heal these guys up before the fight, so I think we're probably stuck at this level. Unless we can uh, build some stuff relatively quickly to help out here. Let's just get him to run down here. I want to see what this note says. You see an old Sangmarian trading cog, or rather its poor remains after it crashed on these rocks. You don't need to be an expert to tell the ship is in a bad shape. There's an enormous hole in the belly, the mast is broken and the sail is torn to pieces. But, if you could repair the damage, she would be your best way to escape. Blue. Okay, so they've obviously left the code for the text colour in here on the end by accident. 
Okay, what do we need for that? Those pots are going to be interesting. Lots of planks. Okay, let's um, let's get moving here. Otherwise, we're going to waste a day. What's this? Astrolabian part, part of a much more elaborate instrument. Okay, so we can build an astrolabe at some point for some reason. I wonder if that gets us better protection against the heat at some point because we can tell what the weather's doing or bricks okay have they got bricks no let's send them as many bricks as we can where do we send those right there right there okay so I don't know what else we get here we've got a fire already so I'm actually um, sending what I can to the bastion before I run out of time. Plank some firewood. Two pots. Two pots already. Kind of tells me that they're going to throw a, f a few curveballs here. We've got a bed already. lots of materials in here and wood and we do have goats I wonder if we have to use the pots to um, to get the goat milk let's go and find out from these guys what they give us so they're hungry um, we could do with making fodder then straight away uh, we've got a fireplace that's the pantry. Right, let's get looking at what we can actually make here. Gonna need a forge. Gonna need a forge, so we're gonna need to upgrade this place. Um, okay, so <clears throat> I have a feeling we've made a mistake already. So we need. So we need pots to make a kitchen, but we've already got one, so that's lucky. Oh, there's a furnace up here. That's fine. Um, I always thought that that was down here, but it looks like we need the storehouse level 2 for the stump and sawhorse. That's interesting. So we need bricks for pretty much everything. And we have a dryer here. Might be worth trying to make that in a minute. And a composter. So I don't know if the goats give us compost or whether they just give us milk. Um, but we look like we need bricks for everything, so I'm going to make a furnace. Um. Oh. Whoops. I'm going to chuck this one over here. Make my main place here. See if we can get this built before the end, before the end of the day. <coughs> Here, excuse me. Okay, we could make four bricks. We could make six bricks. Um, I think it might be worth making as many bricks as we possibly can, because they take a little while to make, and we need a fair few. So we need two for that, two for that. <clears throat> Plus we need to feed the bastion with them as well. Oh, were these guys wounded or sick? Sick. Okay, so we really do need to go out and get the um, uh, medicines. And we're very close to the end of the day now. Just want to see how long this takes. If we can. Okay, so this is basically like our rummage pile, and hopefully we can get some food from it. Six bag slots, that's awful. Okay, we'll deal with that. Um, two inactive passages again, like before. And we've got 
Imperial Outpost or Battlefield. Um, the Wargedi Village. Okay, Sun Palace. I guess that's where we are. Oh no, hang on. We are. Where are we? This is where we are. So we have the option of going either way, I guess. So we want medicine, so I guess we're going Western Pass to start with, and we'll either find out whether we'll find, try and find out whether this requires a key, or or whether we can just go to either, because that's got exactly what we want at the moment: wood resources, building materials, textiles, and greens. Um, but we need to find the medicine, so we are going to go to the Western Pass. Okay. Oh, hang on, I've just seen this up here. So we've got yellow heat and red heat. I guess, uh, what's this? I guess the red heat up here is where we don't want to be. Um, I'm going to leave that there. Um, as a very close dump pile. Okay. Take this and bung it in here with this one. Okay, so I can't get down there. I can't get past that, and there's nothing else over there. So it looks like we're going this way. Um, is it this way? Right, that's the Sun Palace. There's no meds up there whatsoever. seen any guards yet. Okay, we've got a couple of uh, couple of losables here. Keeping my eye out for any movement. Rotten food and another pot. Okay. Let's rob these caravans. I think I want to be out of this heat. Oh. There's a bird there. <laughs> where's this uh, where's the meds come on oh meat um, yeah we don't have space for it I need meds open desert. Okay, so we need to remember that the meat's there. We are running out of time. Yeah, unlike the basic scenario, here you can sneak out to scavenge the oasis during the day since northern invaders are not used to the heat and they prefer night time for attacks and other activities. To your advantage, only a handful of guards patrol the valley. This situation, however, has its downside. After noon, which I guess we've just hit, even the seasoned southerners seek shadow and rest as heat becomes unbearable. If you decide to stay outside, your character's body will overheat, which gradually drains energy and causes sickness. Right, okay, I need to get... Okay, I need to interact with this. I think this is where the meds are. Must be. Or another person. Remains of the caravan are covered with the blood of crew and horses, brutally killed by midlanders. There's no sight of the medicine, but you see a wagon which transported Imperial officials. It hangs on the edge of a cliff. Then, as you pass by the wagon, you hear someone. A female voice, full of pain and desperation, comes from beneath the wagon. After a while, you recognise her face. It's Aisha. Aisha or Aisha? I think Aisha. Ambassador of the Southern Province. She travelled with the caravan for the election of a new emperor planned for the next full moon. Everyone thought she was killed during the ambush, but here she is alive, yet trapped by a broken plank which pierced her leg. She can't move and needs your help, but if you don't want to hurt her even more, you have to try and move the wagon which is already dangerously close to falling down the cliff. Okay. 
We don't really want to hurt her anymore. Let's try and uplift the wagon somehow. You act quickly. With your aid, she's soon freed from this deadly trap. But the wagon falls down the cliff, causing terrible noise. It will surely alert every Midlander in the valley. Well, we've got to go anyway, so hopefully that's a one-night thing. Thankful for your help, Aisha tells you where to look for the medicine. In a small case hidden in the floor of one of the other wagons. Okay, that's awesome. Aisha's weak, and she'll surely be a burden for your crew. But she's also an Imperial official, after all. Um, come along. Yeah. Hopefully we can uh, get back. This is just turned up, so... Yeah, we are getting hot now. There we go. Meds. And I've got loads of rotten food, so I'm going to take those meds as well. Um, purely because we need to... Uh, Send a couple to our troops as well. I can't pick up any of that. Let's um, head back to the old... Uh, let's head back to the old uh, place. The homestead. Yeah, the enemy assault approaches. So, got a new character. Some water is ready to be collected. He's knackered already, one night. Okay, he's going to have to sleep in his bed. She can go and give the meds to um, Demetrius. You're barely, barely able to wake up Demetrius for just a moment, but he finally takes medicine. You can bet he's already shaken less than a moment ago. May the gods save him. Oh wow, he's, uh, he's with us. Okay, that's awesome. Um, what's she got here? She's good at healing and great at building. Bad at drinking. And Demetrius hardly needs to eat, but slow healing and rubbish fighting. We are going to put him on the fishery. And we're going to have uh, Aisha up here doing stuff. Let's grab the water. And we're going to get attacked in a minute. So actually, before we get attacked, let's send this meds to these guys. I wonder if we're going to be picking up stone and things like that. Oh, we've got stuff over there. I need to build a butchery table. So we can make fodder. I think I'm going to build this dryer. We'll chuck that. Um... We'll chuck it over here. And bung it right there, next to the well. Because it's close to where I wanted to go, really. We're going to have to feed these guys rotten food rather than butchery, uh, butchered fodder. Let's just get this going. I have a feeling we're going to need quite a bit of fibre. And then let's run over here to see the goats. Okay, we've got some milk. Right, they're hungry. Let's um Let's see if we can just get away with two. Okay, I'm not seeing any projectiles yet. Okay, there they are. Still too sick. We need that repair bench. We need these uh, bricks. Oh, actually. Some more milk. Come on, bricks. How's the fishing going? Fishing's nearly completed a cycle. I wonder if you can pick junk out of the water then. Or whether it's literally just all meat. Okay, how do we do? Still just too sick. Uh, we can send them milk as well, right? As well as water. That's cool. Let's take these bricks. 
Ah, yeah, we've got brushwood out of the fishery. Oh, I was wondering whether we'd be able to get sort of junk out of that pile as well. And uh, it seems that we can. Right, workbench. Workbench and repair workshop is what we need. And we need a workbench to be able to make the tools. So let's build a workbench. Uh, which way around did this go? I don't think I ever really worked it out. Let's um, let's pop it right there. Yeah, we took four wall damage, but we managed to uh, not get anyone injured, hurt, or dead. So that works for me. Right, let's. Uh, not not him. Her. Let's have a little look here. We're going to need to make some tools. Cool, they really did a good job with the area, actually. I really like it. Okay, daytime is approaching. Repair workshop. That's next. Let's pop that right here. Okay, not quite finished. <clears throat> I should really take this guy. Um, she's got such a better backpack. Oh yeah, we have to scout the enemy lines as well. Um, this guy's going to get really tired if I send him out. So I want him to actually be the guy working in the uh, on the fishery. Um, Demetrius is still sick, but we'll send we'll send Aisha. Um, do you know what? I'm going to take a torch with me just in case. Our plan, really, for the night is to go out and pick up the things we missed. Oh, we've got guard activity now. Okay, let's be careful. I wonder if burning this dead horse over here will actually give us anything. Probably not. Let's take this. There's a hiding space right there that I'm quite worried about. Oh, why would they put that all the way up there? We'll um we'll see, I guess. <clears throat> I wonder if the birds alert the guards. Do you know what I mean? Like you know, flapping and stuff like that. And the guards are like, whoa, hang on, what's going on over there? Like all these guys. Would that be a reason to burn the corpse? Let's get rid of the birds. Okay, wood. I think wood's going to be quite an important resource in this playthrough. As well as materials, building materials. I think we're going to get a lot of wood here. But then when we ransack the villages we'll probably get a lot more materials. There's a lot of corpses down there. Okay. Wow, we're getting a lot of meat and uh, carcasses. This looks like vegetables. We can head down there later. We've got a full backpack, so we should probably head back with it. Seeing as the heat is coming in. This place is becoming a frying pan. <laughs> what I do want to do quickly is uh, go back to our dump spot here.
and then just quickly head up here because there was one that's really close to the edge and I wanted to see, uh, well there's a few up here just see whether I can grab some of this if this is building materials there's a few in there and there's no guards up here Okay, let's go back. I think what we'll do is we'll we'll go up there and try and loot um, those in night three. We need a shovel really, so we can get down to this bottom bit quickly to do that. I'm going to leave a torch here and take um, I'll take this stuff back here for now. Yeah, I'm wondering about those birds. If we burn the corpses, whether the birds disappear. Do the birds alert the guards? That might be a concern for later on. Right, let's just check everybody's health here. This guy's thirsty. So he can go and drink. And then I'm going to basically get him to... Uh, go and fish. Demetrius, what do you have? Just eating. Right. Very useful. You go down there and go on the fishery. Take that. Right, let's have a look. Let's repair the axes. So, a slender figure emerges from the bastion. You recognise him easily. It's Alexios, one of the Viator's trusted men. It's clear that the absence of his commander is a burden to Alexios. They've been through many adventures and he can't accept the fact that Viator could have been killed. Alexios reports the situation in the Bastion. When he unveils his face, usually covered to protect himself from the dust, you see a fresh scar running from his mouth to his right ear. Pray for the recovery of my brothers, he says, ending his report. Sick, they won't stand the line for long. He also warns you a sandstorm will hit the place soon. If he's right about that one... Sorry, if he's right about that, day might become as dark as night. While it will help you avoid enemy patrols while scavenging the surroundings, it will prevent you from scouting their positions. When Alexios returns to the Bastion, you still can't help it, but think that his smile is so wide now. Oh, let's call Alexios the Joker from now on. Okay, let's get him over there. Speed things up a touch. Take the milk. How are these guys doing? Are they... Oh. Very hungry. Yeah, greens don't do anything at all. We really need that uh, food table. So, um, he might as well go and get started on it. The butcher's table. Yeah, I'm going to put that over here because the main use for it for us will be to make fodder. So let's chuck it there. Right, actually, you go over there. You're better at building. Ah, nice one. Um, Demetrius can go to sleep, actually. And you can carry on. Because I need him to uh, scout the enemy lines. Right, let's make some fodder. Then we can feed these uh, these animals. Oh, she's really tired as well. Okay, let's take that. We've only got goats, so I'm going to feed them all of the fodder now. How's our bastion doing for food and things like that? Um, we can send them some milk, I guess. Right, let's send them... Uh, let's send them that. Let's send them the three axes as well. She's going to have to sleep overnight, I think. 
Um, what do we need for the armor? I think we've got just enough there. We can break those two pieces of uh, raw carcass down. Which will give us the uh, the fiber we need if we're desperate. Let's... Um, yeah, we really need to upgrade this place now. Um, for farms. Oh, is there no... Um, there's no traps. There's no rat traps. This is water collector and this is crop farm. Yeah, normally we have uh, the meat catch a bit, right? Yeah, it doesn't look like we've got that. But we do really need this um, stump in order to make firewood. So we need four more bricks and a lot more building materials, which I don't think we have, so... Um, I can only make one of those. Uh, no, we need six in total, right? Let's get two on now, just in case we find two. Oh, wow, we're getting quite a lot of stuff out there. We can use that as, uh... We can use this as fuel. Cheap fuel. Okay, or veg, or fruits. Okay, and maybe we don't need a stump with a sawhorse then. We can make some water as well. Let's cook four meals, because at some point everyone will be hungry and whinging. Yeah, and then we're going to have to get on trying to find some other stuff here. Okay. Oh wow, she's really tired now. So, I think the plan is to now try and build another bed. Uh, he's sick, but I'm sending him out anyway. He's tired, but he's going to scout the enemy lines. And we're going to try and head into the um, Sun Palace for now. I think. Yeah, have we got... I mean, there's nothing in there other than wood resources and building materials, which is kind of fine. So, plus the guards are low up here. Let's run over here. We can use this one here as a dump pile for this place. I think we're going to need to because this carrying capacity is rubbish. Is that fertilizer? Bit of fertilizer in there. Let's go over here. I'm wondering if we're going to see any guards up here at all. I haven't seen a single guard yet. There's, there's our shovel for getting through the other area down the bottom there. Fruits. Cool. We got some fruits there. I feel like I'm being baited. This feels too easy. Let's go and dump some of this up here. That's a lot of fertilizer. <clears throat> okay, so is this going to be twigs, I guess? Yeah, start to recognize what things give you. Let's go and get this. Oh, I really need building materials to make those bricks. Or bricks. Or just bricks will do. Yeah, bricks, there we go. Perfect. So I think we've got enough to make the um, upgrade the storehouse now. I think. That's perfect. I'm going to try and leave some fruits and things around because I don't want them just to go off. 
I'm not seeing any guards knocking about. Just having a little look around here. Sorry about the camera angles and things. Right, I think we need to head back. I'm going to try and take some of this stuff and put it in the uh, in the lower grab spot. Especially if we're going to try and head down the other way. Okay, well they stack in tens as well, so that's really, really useful. We can go and activate this event as well if we can get down the bottom. if it's worth going back up to grab that other stuff. Oh, he's proper, proper ill. Okay, uh, let's leave the valuables there. Okay, so as soon as it goes into the red, you obtain a level of sickness. Uh, that's worth knowing. Um, I mean, I'm not happy about it, but... I uh, don't need the fertilizer yet, but I will need those. Take as much of that as I can. Take another one of those. This has already been processed, so... Um, Let's take that over the fresh fruits for now. Let's get the hell back to the uh, to the camp. Sandstorm. It looks like there is a sandstorm coming, but we are going to deal with that in the uh, next episode. So uh, just want to say thanks for joining me today. I hope you're going to enjoy this playthrough. I know uh, I'm going to be more stressed than you are. I hope I don't convey that whilst playing. <laughs> I hope to see you guys around for the next episode and until that time take care of yourselves and stay safe.